Hey guys, Mitchell Smith here with Pike Consulting Group. We're with Captain Joe Rains with Head First Fishing Adventures, about to bring you another great video. It's a beautiful day, and we just want to take a moment to let you know if you have any safety or OSHA compliance questions, Pike Consulting Group has the solutions. Welcome back to St. Pete Fishing Outfitters. I'm Captain Joe Rains, and this is another episode of Hey Yo, Captain Joe. This is where I read your emails and answer you directly. This segment is brought to you by St. Pete Fishing Outfitters, Tampa Fishing Outfitters, Tarpon Fishing Outfitters, and the Pike Consulting Group. Let's get into the first email. We've had some very interesting emails, we'll say, lately. Our first email comes from Steve, and Steve writes, Hey yo, Captain Joe. I've been out fishing the Skyway Shipping Channel around the Skyway Bridge, and this is a new type of fishing for me, and I've had some success. I'm catching a few grouper, a few snapper, nothing really big, but it seems like every time I do hook something really good, a freaking dolphin comes in and steals my fish. This is driving me absolutely bananas. I've been out there four or five times, and every single time I hook a good one, the dolphins steal it. How do I stop this? I'm getting so angry that I could punch a dolphin. What should I do? Sincerely, Steve. Well, Steve, I can relate to your frustration. I've experienced exactly what you're talking about, and just about any other serious shipping channel fisherman in Tampa Bay has experienced exactly what's going on. And the truth of the matter is, there's nothing you can do about it except get up and leave. I would not recommend punching a dolphin. There is a thing called the Marine Mammal Protection Act that will definitely come after you if you end up harassing, uh, attacking, maiming, you know, inflicting pain upon any marine mammals out there. So definitely do not punch any dolphins. Definitely be kind to the wildlife and, you know, they're just trying to eat. I know it's frustrating. I get upset too, but you just gotta move. Uh, some little tricks maybe you can do is just stop fishing for a while, let the dolphins do their thing, and then maybe they'll move on. You can try turning your sonar off. Maybe they'll stop hearing your sonar and think maybe you've shut fishing down or whatever. Try that and see if the dolphins leave. But other than that, there's not much you can do other than leave yourself. Our next email comes from Mike. And Mike writes, hey yo Captain Joe, love the videos. I'm looking for a good lightweight setup for speckled trout, maybe some flounder, some Spanish mackerel. Tell me what I should buy as far as a rod and reel combo goes and what kind of line I should be looking for. Well Mike, I would say you don't really need anything more than a 3000 size reel. That's really as high as you need to go. Uh, no more than 20 pound braid, honestly, for speckled trout, if that's what you're mostly targeting, you know, 10 to 12 pound braid is perfectly fine. They're not super strong fish until they get into the upper end of their uh, size range. And they don't make these huge runs or anything like that. So, you know, 3,000 reel at the most, 10 to 12 pound line. Um, no more than a seven foot rod really is all you need for that kind of stuff. You don't need anything special. Medium action, medium, medium power with a fast tip on it's great. Or just a straight medium profile. That's all good. You really don't need to get too fancy with this setup, and you really don't need to spend more than $200 for the whole thing. So I hope that helps you get on those trout, flounder, and Spanish. Our last email comes from Leo D, and Leo D writes, hey man, I'm absolutely loving your channel, really great content, and I'm really excited that we can actually ask you questions. So here's my question. When should I consider topwater fishing? I've tried it several times, I've gotten a few bites, but I'm not really consistent with it. When do you prefer to throw topwater lures? That's a really good question. I think topwater lure fishing is kind of a certain time frame of the day and year. I find topwater lure fishing, if we're talking about flats fishing, snook, redfish, trout, I'm doing that around here in Tampa Bay, late winter, spring, most of spring, slows down a little bit to specific times a day in the summertime and then cranks back up again in the fall when those water temperatures get down closer to 80 degrees. So top water is is best for when the fish are I think hungry and more aggressive. Yes you can catch fish outside of those peak times but I think top water is best when the fish are either coming out of a time when they're being conservative and now they're really hungry and on the feed or when they're feeding knowing that they're about to go into that conservative time. 
uh, around here, which is when it gets cold. They're, they're less active, these fish are less active when it's cold. So consider those, uh, those time frames. Uh, also, early morning, late afternoon, dusk, those are all great times for top water. I really appreciate your email questions. I hope my answers have helped you out. If you have questions for me, email headfirstfishing at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you, and maybe you'll be featured on the next installment of Hey Yo, Captain Joe. Just put Hey Yo, Captain Joe in the subject line. See you later.